And we're getting some new information this morning on the three officers killed in Baton Rouge yesterday. Yeah, take a look. These new photos we have of these men here, we'll start on the left, Officer Montrell Jackson, a 32-year-old described by his family as a gentle giant. And the second victim in the middle of your screen here, Matthew Gerald, who once served as an Army Black Hawk crew chief. And also on the right here, 45-year-old Deputy Brad Garafola, who worked with the Sheriff's Office for 24 years. You hear those gunshots right there. Those officers were responding to reports of a gunman dressed in black and carrying an assault rifle. The shooter opened fire on them, starting an intense gunfight before police killed him. Investigators identify the gunman as Gavin Long, an ex-Marine from Missouri. His online posts show him praising the Dallas sniper and urging people to, quote, fight back. It comes as a community mourns Alton Sterling, killed by police two weeks ago. Sterling's aunt is calling for an end to the violence with this emotional message. When these people call these families, they tell them that their daddies and their mama's not coming home no more. I know how they feel because I got the same phone call. Along with the three officers killed, three others are injured. We're learning 41-year-old Nicholas Tullier is in critical condition right now. The two others are expected to survive. Police are still considering if anybody helped Long in the shooting. They had detained two people in this case, but they've since released them both.